Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team is tracking some bitter colds coupled with damaging winds. Tonight, more than 9,000 National Grid customers are without power across Rhode Island. More than half of them, nearly 5,000 in Coventry. And more scattered outages are possible with more gusty winds throughout the night. Those winds are making one of the coldest days so far this season feel even colder. And as if that weren't enough, we're also looking at the possibility for more bad weather on the busiest travel day of the year. So let's get right to meteorologist TJ Del Santo to break it all down for us. Yeah, a lot to talk about tonight. We are looking at those winds continue to be very strong. Some wind gusts as high as 53, 55 miles an hour at Connecticut Light in Warwick. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar fortunately is nice and quiet. We're just dealing with wind and cold. Temperatures at 21 in Smithfield, 25 Providence, Newport 25. Now you factor in the wind and it feels like it's in the single digits across southeastern New England. Feels like seven in Smithfield, 11 in Providence, a wind chill factor of eight degrees right now in Newport whenever those winds do gust up. So we have that weather alert. Wind advisory continues until 1 a.m. Northwesterly winds could be gusting to 45 miles an hour and some isolated power outages. Additional power outages are possible throughout the uh, rest of the evening. But after a minute, I think these... Uh, uh, winds will be dying down a little bit, but it will remain blustery. Temperatures will be falling down into the upper teens uh, by around midnight tonight. Feel like temperatures around zero at that time. So what are we looking at for the week ahead in that big storm on Wednesday? Seven day future cast coming up just a little bit.